Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Open Great League. So today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Open Great League, the Open Ultra League, and the Open Master League all begin. So we're taking a look at a team. This is from early in the season. We're taking a look at a team that actually is really weak to Charm. We have Scrafty, which is double weak to it, and then we have Zwilies, which is double weak to it. Of course, Needle Queen does well against Charm users or Fairy types in general, like the Azumel. Uh, but, I mean, I feel like this team could potentially work, but I feel like it would be better if Nidoqueen was in the lead, and then you had the Scrafty and the Zwilius in the back to lure out the possible Charm user, or even Fighting type, because both of the Pokemon in the back are weak to counter, whereas Nidoqueen does well against it. But that's okay, they said this is like a meme team, they're just having fun with it, and that's totally fine, no big deal. But let's go ahead and dive into these battles, we do see that shield there. We're going to see a Poison Fang Bait, hoping to pick up one of the shields from the opponent, and I think we will see it, yep, we do see it. So very nice there. Trying to get to that Earth Power. Able to get it. So this is either going to KO or pick up the second shield. Uh, so we'll see what they decide to do. And they let it go. So KOing that Needle Queen. Out comes Scrafty. And of course Scrafty with that foul play. Uh, but they try and possibly catch on the Azumel. They're not able to. But at least the Scrafty has play against Azumel. A little bit of play. I mean Acid Spray is super effective. But it's still a weak move. But at least you're debuffing it. We're going to see another... Acid Spray, so this actually might be enough to KO that Azumel, I guess we'll see, and all oh, they do shield it, okay, very nice, so they do shield it, and they get off an attack, a play rough, of course, is going to KO, we already mentioned, uh, being double weak to Charm, or Fairy types in general, Fairy attacks, I should say, but Zwilius will be able to farm down, and this is going to be a win, because Zwilius does really well against Trevenant, uh, so it's going to be able to take this, a Shadow Ball, probably still do a good amount, uh, it's just going to be a Seed Bomb, not going to do too much, uh, but the Dark Pulse should be enough to finish off that Trevenant. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played there. So, yeah, I mean, if you go in this order with the Scrafty in the lead, as long as you don't see uh, a Chum using in the lead, or not necessarily Chum, but Zumel as well, it should be uh, okay, but we'll see. Anyway, these are great Pokemon, so... Uh, Scrafty into this... Uh, Swamp it, trying to catch and actually able to catch on this Wileyus. So, going to go ahead and take this resisted Hydro Cannon plus potentially lure out an answer. So, Registeel coming in. Um, okay, Re Registeel will be able to KO this Wileyus, and plus it is resisting Dragon Breath as well. Uh, so, at least we bring this out. We're going to see a Dark Pulse, and we know there's no Charm user because that would have come in, right? Or Fighting type. I imagine it would have come in. Um, but anyway, they go for the Focus Blast. That is going to KO. That is totally fine. We're going to see this uh, Scrafty come in. Scrafty going for that farm. Oh, not quite, not quite. So we'll have to give up a shield. Uh, so this is going to be a Focus Blast. But yeah, that would have KO'd, right? So you have to shield that. Even if it didn't, it would have gotten it low. Uh, so the Swampit is coming in. And we're going to see the Acid Spray right now. So uh, will they shield this or will they let it go? They do shield it. Very nice. Going to shield this. Yeah, because this would do so much damage. Even maybe knock it out. If not, come very, very close. Uh, so we're gonna see a farm. Yes, we are gonna see a farm down. What is in the back? Oh, it's a ghost type. I think that was Hex, wasn't it? I didn't see what it was, but I know it's some. It's gotta be a ghost type. It's a drift blim. Okay, so able to get off this foul play. That is what you want to see. So this foul play is coming out. You need to land this because Needle Queen really does not like drift blim at all, uh, and it is weak to icy wind the Needle Queen. But you got it low enough that. You should be fine here, right? I see when it's not going to KO. Uh, so we're going to see a Poison Fang come out. Uh, so this Poison Fang... I mean, the Needle Queen is debuffed. This is resisted. That's not going to KO. But Needle Queen is going to be fine here. Going to be able to KO that Drift Blim. Farm it down and take that win. Absolutely amazing. Let's move on to the next one. Scrafty into Trevenant. So definitely a good matchup here. The Sea Bomb's still going to be hitting a decent, decently well. But um, it's still pretty good. We're going to see a Seed Bomb come in. Scrafty going to be able to take that. Of course, Scrafty, as we know, resisting those Shadow Claws. Going to go ahead and go for the Acid Spray Bait right now. We'll see if they decide to shield. I want to say they do shield. They do very, very, very nice bait. Um, so, going to go ahead and shield this here. So, I mean, Scrafty is, is good here, but the Seed Bombs are still adding up. Even the Shadow Claws, right? So, we're going to see uh, a Foul Play come out. Uh... And we'll see if the Trevenant decides to shield. They do decide to shield. And now we're going to see a switch into Zwilies. Potentially, again, luring out an answer to Zwilies. But they're actually not switching out. They're throwing the Shadow Ball. And that Shadow Ball is going to be doing a lot of damage. But Trevenant will go down. Uh, so, okay. So, we're going to go ahead and go for this Body Slam right now. I did not see what came in. Uh, Scra oh, Scrafty. Okay, so a Fighting type. Uh, able to counter that down. But again, Needle Queen will do well against the Scrafty. 
uh, which is probably what's coming in. Yeah, gonna go ahead and bring in that Needle Queen, but are we gonna see a fawn down? No, we are not. This is not gonna KO, maybe undercharge it a little. Uh, okay, looks like they're not gonna undercharge it, that's fine. Uh, Scruffy will be able to get to a foul play, and this is likely the foul play. Uh, so just gonna let it go. Yep, gonna be that foul play. Switching out right now, in comes Bash Shield on. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Of course, the Scrafty does well against Bash Yudan, but Needle Queen does as well. That acid spray does nothing. <laughs> but the counters, oh my gosh, look at that. You could Poison Fang it down. You could Poison Fang down a Bash Yudan. Now, unfortunately, you do have to shield, but it does not matter. Uh, they're not going to be able to get to another attack. Uh, down goes the Bash. Wow, Poison Fang down a Bash Yudan. In comes Scrafty, and Scrafty will go down to the Poison Fang. At least they didn't get to another foul play. Great game, well played to both trainers. Absolutely amazing. Let's move on to the next one. Scrafty into Scrafty. So we do have a mirror match here. Yeah, you gotta kinda, you, get, you gotta stay put, right? You gotta stay in. Um, now, unfortunately, they will be able to get to the power punches faster, so they're gonna get off this attack. Uh, so power punch is going to connect, but we're gonna see an acid spray come out. We'll see if the opponent decides to shield. They probably don't. Uh, yeah, they don't shield. The opponent will be able to win this matchup. But, well, it's, actually it's close. Uh, so the opponent does win, but at least they throw an attack. So we'll see what's in the back. Power Punch will KO. Uh, gonna farm down with the Needle Queen. We'll see what comes in. Um, Trevenant, okay. Not bad, but again, if they have like an Azumel in the back, it's going to be troublesome. If they have a Charm user, it's gonna be troublesome. I don't think Charm is super common in the Great League. Um, okay, it's going to be a Goliath Stunfisk, but you do see it here and there, especially, I, I would say Alola Ninetale is probably the most common one. I see it with Granbo from time to time as well. Uh, so Goliath Stunfisk, of course, is resisting Dragon Breath, which is not great. The opponent still has two shields. We're going to see this Dark Pulse come out, and Dark Pulse will be doing a lot. The problem is it's not like you could farm down with Needle Queen, right? So, like, you would still have to throw an Earth Power at that Goliath Stunfisk, so we're going to see a Rock Side. So, yeah, going to go ahead and shield, which I think makes sense. I'm uh, going to throw the Body Slam bait now, which again, I, I agree with, so we'll see if this... Um, okay, they do go ahead and shield it, very nice, and they do throw an attack, just going to let this one go. Oh, I don't know if it's low enough, I mean, you still can't farm it down with Poison Jab, they switch out into Trevenant, Trevenant throws, yeah, this is going to be a win, uh, win for the opponent, because you do have to shield, and you're going to be able to farm this down, no, actually, never mind, you're not, they have another attack. Uh, I didn't realize they had another attack, but either way, it wouldn't matter because they could get to the Earthquake, right? Uh, and they still have a shield. Um, so we see a Poison Fang, just gonna go ahead and go for the bait right now. Um, yeah, we do see a shield there, and they're gonna be... Okay, another Poison Fang, but again, it's, it's not gonna KO, but you might as well go for it, see how much it does, not doing that much. And Needle Queen goes down, but very close game actually. Well played to both trainers, and we're gonna go ahead and move into the final battle of the video. Really cool team. Uh, Scrafty into Dugan, so you definitely like this. At least the Needle Queen is not on this, or this Wileyus, right? You definitely want the Dugan on this, no doubt about it. Uh, so they're gonna go ahead and throw an Icy Wind, which will debuff the Scrafty, which is not great, but um, you can kind of get it back with the Acid Spray, right? So the Acid Spray will debuff uh, the Dugan. And we're going to see a farm down, but Scrafty going to go ahead and shield. Yeah, Scrafty's going to shield. Uh, so it's going to be an icy one. Probably switch out to Scrafty after the Dugan goes out. We'll see. So Dugan is gone. No, it's going to be Machamp. Okay, so yeah, don't switch. <laughs> uh, let the uh, Scrafty go down and then bring in the Needle Queen because you don't want Zwilius up against that. So in comes Berserker, out comes Wileys. Ooh, they have close combat. Dragon Breath is resisted. Um, gonna go ahead and shield. Do you think the opponent baits? I don't know. They do not bait. Gonna be a close combat. And now comes the body slam. So body slam is going to be resisted. But, uh, gonna get the shield anyway because they are debuffed. And they do get to another close combat, which this definitely KOs. Um, but like the Machamp doesn't really have much play against Needle Queen. However, I think they'll be able to make it to... Yeah, a foul play as they do. However, can the Needle Queen farm down? If the Needle Queen can farm down, this is actually going to be a tight one. I think the opponent's going to get this one. They do switch into Machamp though, so Machamp is going to be hit with a Poison Fang. Uh, let's see if they shield, because if they do, sh they do shield, can you get to an Earth Power? No, you cannot. They have an attack. Okay, so well played. Uh, unfortunately, not going to be able to win this one. They go for the Crush Chop. Yeah, that is going to KO, and that is going to be a great game. Very well played and a great submission. Thank you so much for sharing your battle experiences with us, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.